what's going on evil street shark fam so today i am going to show you guys how to check your airlines from of course the back of the strut and the rear of the spring with the back sits i'm gonna show you guys how to check for if the airlines are leaking so i'm gonna do that today nothing is wrong with my car but i decided to just go ahead and make a video of it so while i'm doing that i'm gonna go check for other things to make sure everything is good like rust if there's oil leaking and stuff stuff like that so that's what we're gonna do today i got my two jacks jack stands the jack and something to lay down on in my lug so let's get to it guys let's let's make it happen so what you guys <clears throat> you guys know i daily drive my car every single day and i have it had i have no issues with my car with the airlines leaking thank god knock on wood i need to find some wood i'm about to go knock on a tree knock on tree all right so we're back so yeah i had to go knock on that tree because i don't want nothing bad to happen so mine has been definitely reliable as you guys can see through my videos i daily drive this car every single day and everything's hold up one way you can test to see if your airlines are leaking is leave the car outside at nighttime at its ride height and you will see if the car is slouching on each side that's one way to tell if your car or airlines are leaking this side will be lower than the other side so that's one way to check right now mines are all even and also another way to tell is if you set you set your uh, ride height on if you set your setup on rise and start when you turn the car on it will start pumping air in which bag needs to be it and needs to be adjusted to be aired up so that's another way to check too when, as soon as you turn on your car you can definitely feel which one is uh getting air pumped into it because maybe it's low in pressure but of course if it's cold do not get paranoid paranoid because if it's cold of course it may lose a little bit of pressure but that doesn't mean the whole line is leaking it just means it lost pressure the tank of course will lose pressure if it's cold outside but there's sometimes where i leave my car in the sun and my tank is set to 185 and you might come back to the car and it might be at 190 because of the sun hitting the car and inside the car is getting warm so the tank is expanding with more pressure in it so that's a good idea to give to you guys but I just wanted to double check everything so of course i'm gonna loosen up the lug nuts take the wheels off inspect around the strut make sure everything is and i'm gonna show you guys what you guys need to do to be able to check if your airlines are leaking so let's get to it also guys don't be like me. Don't forget to air your car all the way up. So I'm about to hit the button to air all the way up. So now that we got the car in jack stands, we're gonna go ahead and take the lugs and the wheel off. And it's cold. I think it's like, it probably is like 30 degrees outside, 30 something. It's cold outside, but I was like, hey, definitely need to do this. The temperature, I don't know. I believe it's gonna go back up to 50 degrees soon again, but I was like, hey, let me check today. Today's Friday. TGIF guys so I decided hey 
might as well check this while I'm ahead it because I'm gonna clean up underneath here as well see how everything is looking if it's rusting or not everything should be good but I'm just gonna look over everything and make sure and if you guys you guys probably can't see but this is where the fender liner is rubbing on the wheel and I'll show you guys videos coming soon if you guys watched the last video of me buying the new fender liner which is dope there we go so you might if it's stuck like that you just might have to hit it one time and it's gonna come loose so tires off wheels off boom everything is looking good but there's some salt back here so I definitely need to clean her up a bit get rid of some of the salt especially on I'm gonna show you guys the high sensors too so this is gonna be a video on of how my back setup look underneath here and the airlines the high sensors and everything and what to check for so let me uh continue let's get to the other side yeah here definitely needs a wash a good wash so so right it's crazy how heavy these are man. so this is under the wheel wheels looking this is the fender line i showed you guys the new one it looks black this one looks more of like a gray so to take out the fender liners i will have to take off these right here right here right here all of these little clips will have to come out this is another side where i rubbed a little bit you can see it's coming off but the problem i have is basically with the clip right here well this one doesn't have the issue this one is just ripping this one is just basically ripping right there in the middle so this one isn't too bad but I'm just gonna change both of them but you can definitely see how the strut is looking it's holding up definitely glad there's anti seize on here so none of this seizes up which is great so but you can definitely see all the little water stains and debris on top of the strut but everything all, all overall everything looks good the bag and everything looks perfect doesn't see i don't see any crazy stretching or anything like that and you guys can see it still looks brand new so definitely looks good definitely looks good even the top it looks good everything looks good those are just watermarks it looks like so everything is looking good nothing is looking like it's expanding or anything so <clears throat> so the line that goes to the strut is back here i'm gonna try to show you guys so the line goes up to the strut right here and then it comes down and the airlines are right here so that's how it looks so what we're gonna do is i'm gonna go get the soapy water and here is my high sensor over here this is how the high sensor looks high sensor is looking good just need to clean it up a bit from the snow or whatever not snow the salt because you can definitely see the white water stains and stuff so i'm definitely going to clean all of that stuff up and take care of that so definitely gonna do that but overall everything is looking good my brand new brake pads are looking good still a lot of brakes brake left to go everything's looking good so that's good all right guys so i'm back so i got me a hot bucket of water a sponge to clean underneath the wheel wheel right here everything is looking good i'm just gonna clean it up a bit those are just those brown stuff is the seams of the car so it's holding up pretty good everything's looking good just gonna wash it down wash off some of the salt wash off some of the white stuff all that white stuff on the high sensor don't quote me guys i know you guys in the comments but i'm gonna clean off the bag and everything make sure everything is clean and good to go what i'm gonna do to check the airlines is i'm gonna get so i'm gonna get uh a spray bottle like this you can get these at lowe's for like 98 cents 88 cents less than a dollar and just a plain old spray bottle put some soap in there like you guys see a little bit put some soap in there a little bit of water that's all you need when you string it around it's gonna turn into basically suds so that's what you want to do i don't even put none i just have this sitting in the garage i didn't put water or anything it was already prepared Help me speed up the process a little bit thank you god this is the airline that is going to the back of the car all right so when you check for the airline i will recommend spray up here spray up here 
back here right here spray here right here between here you can even spray here in the front of it right here here where the threads go into this uh fitting right here even sometimes i ran into fittings where between the black piece and the carpet piece between the fitting right here was leaking so spray here of course spray right in here from the beginning and of course spray in here so basically you just get some soapy water like this swig it around and just start spraying and see i might need i might need some water but you would just start spraying yeah i need some water guys that was a fail because race car right <clears throat> all right so back let me even let me test spray before i even there we go so it's gonna come it's gonna look like this i'm gonna do one test for you guys it's just guys i know you guys are gonna be in the comments wild and now please please be mature guys but look so this is what you're gonna do just not too much not too little and just spray on the fitting so so let me get a better angle so you just spray on the fitting like this like how you see the top pieces uh got soap on it you just spray on the fitting like that and you check the airlines and then you will even you just check for anything that's bubbling up so you have to get underneath there look on the other side and stuff and make sure nothing is bubbling up so that's what you guys will have to do and to get to the other to the top one you have to turn the wheel and look and see if it's bubbling up uh oh you have more room to the side of the strut and just get your soapy water and spray on the top of the fitting just like that perfect and as i can see i do not see anything up there bubbling up all right man you could flip to the next screen man we just staring here at the uh bubble is trying to bubble up so you don't see no bubbles man flip to the next screen flip to the next screen come on dude what you doing but as you guys can see and i see i don't see anything bubbling up everything looks good to go all right guys so i'm gonna spray the fittings on the other side and keep moving forward so that's what i'm gonna do right now and clean underneath the wheel well so let's go. also it seems really easy to clean the car while the wheel is turned and get to all the parts you need to get to and the side of the strut it makes it super easy because it's kind of like on an angle so definitely turn the wheel help so and you can check if your brake pads are good and these are brand new and they still look amazing as you guys can see still got a lot of uh pad left so smash the like button guys smash the like button for this video i'm not even gonna clean the fender liners because rip we got new fender liners so now that i'm cleaning this it better not snow anymore guys it better not snow so Everything is good. Damn. Camera feel. But in here, looks clean, looks good. Everything looks good over here. So that's what's up. So let's get to the back. I'm gonna show you guys the back. Spray a little, spray off a little bit back there. This side, other side is good to go, guys. So let's head to the back. to the next up all right guys don't forget to put a brick in the front of the tire don't don't be like me you see that what's in front of the tire it's a brick make sure you put a brick in front of the tire just in case when you're jacking the car up the whole car doesn't roll on you so key key your tip right there guys don't do what I just did
Yep. As the sun is hitting VTEC right now and pulling two car lengths on me, I'm about to lose. The sun is whipping my butt right now. Sun is basically gone, so I'm gonna try to show you guys. So this is how my rear looks. All of that is from the black seams. And whatever they sprayed on, whatever coat they spray on the knee here is kind of like black. I don't really like how it looks, but you guys can see all the white watermarks from salt and all the debris and stuff. And the bag is right here, as you guys can see. On top of the strut, it likes to collect a lot of rocks, as you guys can see. So inside of there, on top of it, there's one rock right there. But the bag, overall is looking good just a lot of watermarks around it i'm going to clean it up with some soap clean up back here the megan rear lip you guys already know so i'm going to clean up all of this stuff right here guys damn look how much dirt and stuff catches up on the bumper nasty guys that looks nasty so guys right here is the rear camber arm these are spc rear camber arms for the car their aftermarket rear camber arm so you could be able to um, adjust the camber and if you want to go stupid negative and you want your wheels a little crooked you just roll that bad boy all the way down and your car is going to be tilted breaking necks looking stupid but it is what it is to each his own this is how my uh essential look and it bolts to the camber arm right there so if you guys have been asking about how the rear height sensors look it looks like this but of course the gas tank is right here so be careful when you guys are mocking this up because the gas is right here all the gas stuff is right here and just be careful drilling in there so right here i have like a bracket there you go you see the two bolts right there mine is kind of like a bracket so come on guys quality video so right there there's two bolts and it's like sitting on top of a bracket and it sticks out some more so you can clear the basically the tank lines and come down and touch the rear camber arm so that's how this side looks the other side is pretty easy because there is no gas line in the way so it just goes there straight to the camera arm so hope you guys if you guys decide to go bags and you guys want to get bags and do go with the high sensors there you go there you go take care of you guys spread the love yo man my tire did not want to come off guys so this is how the rear sensor look and it runs down to the back of the car so that's how my rear sensor looks and it looks like that and it goes down to the camber arm and it looks like that also another most important part is look if you get bags depending on your exhaust size mine's is my exhaust is the gold power three inch exhaust it's a three inch exhaust throughout the whole um, of the exhaust so i had to get this part rewelded away from the bag a little bit so that's what i did i got this part rewelded away from the bag so even when you air up down it's away from the bag guys it's away from the bag so that's one thing that you have to compensate for is you might have to rewheel the axle because the bag might be too close to the exhaust. But I know for a three inch exhaust, you you might have, you more more than likely will have to get it rewielded, which is not a pain in the butt if you can find a boulder in your area, but had to let you guys know that. So that's one thing to look for. So, so I'm right underneath the bag. That's how it looks. So what you would do is spray soapy water right there this is kind of like the hardest part to get to guys i will tell you for bags guys pray the rares do not leak because it will be a pain i'm letting you guys that know now because the reason why i say that because you have to think if you need to get a bolt on let's say the rares is leaking right and you need to get to it right you more than likely may have to take the rear back out and then fix the leak and then put the rear back back because so how are you going to get a wrench underneath there and twist that and tighten it back up it's going to be hard so this part is going to be a pain in the butt but i'm going to check it so all you got to do is spray some soapy water back there and make sure everything is good guys that's all you got to do for this part so you spray uh soapy water on the lines right there so they go up inside the car to go up to the top to where the tank is so that's how the rear looks 
So same thing for the other side, guys. For the rear bag, like I showed you guys, you just gotta wear, worry about the bag where the spring goes and spray some soapy water underneath there and make sure it's not leaking. So that's a great way to see underneath there and make sure that it is not leaking at all. Definitely smash the like button if this video is very informative on how to check for leaks in your airlines going to your tank or going to the management. This is a great way to check how to see if your airlines are leaking by using soapy water. So I hope this is a great demonstration and debating you guys on if you want air suspension or not. I hope this really helped. So let's get into the question. So the main question I always get is, is air suspension reliable? If I get bags, I'm worrying about the bag popping and then I gotta wait two weeks, three weeks, depending on my car or whatever, et cetera, et cetera. And I know you guys, if you guys watch my videos, I know you guys see me drive this car every, almost about every single day. So it's been, I believe it's 2016, I had the air suspension on, 17. So this is like over a year and some months now. So I've been driving on air suspension and it has been reliable. The only thing, and I'm gonna be honest with you guys, the only thing, issues that I have ran into was, the only issues that I had was basically the front strut on the passenger side where it is, goes up into the bag. It was leaking a little bit. So all I had to do was take off the old Teflon tape, put new Teflon tape, put it back on, I screw it back in and it was holding air with no problem. I believe that was the only thing, but of course it's bound to happen because when you're driving, there's debris, rocks, rain, et cetera, et cetera, kicking up, hitting where the where the, uh, the hole screws in. So eventually the Teflon tape will wear off. So just make sure you Teflon tape it really good and make sure it's threaded really good. That's the only time, that's the only thing that really happened for me. So that happened and I did, did that like a while ago and I haven't had any issues in fittings. I had issues with fittings where fittings were leaking for the fittings around the tank. So around the tank, I had issues where the fittings were leaking. So all you had to do was spray soapy water on there and just leave it sit and you could see it start bubbling up. So that's how you could tell if the fittings are leaking. So I had, a, I believe I replaced two or three fittings and I sh I've, I've logged this. If you guys have been watching the vlogs, I've logged this where some fittings were bad and I had to replace them. So yes, also I had uh, the second compressor go bad, but it was still on the warranty and guess what? Airlift sent me a new one free of charge. So A1 customer service from Airlift. That's why I highly recommend, that's why I highly recommend getting air suspension and highly recommend going with Airlift because their customer service is on point. But if you guys like this video, smash the like button and I'll see you tomorrow with another video. And guys, if there's anything that you want to achieve in this world, if there's a goal that you set for yourself, find your inner drive and go after it every single day. Peace. Shout out to the Evil Street Strike fam. Definitely smash the subscribe button on the left here and also hit the notification bell to be notified of new videos. Click the link right here below of the latest video that's out right now.